Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today we are going to be talking about the Overwatch League Week 6 in the um, in the June Joust matches. Um, plenty of, plenty of upsets I just want to say. Holy shit there's a lot of upsets. Obviously before the the matches actually even started we had the bans. It was announced that uh, Tracer, Sombra, Reinhardt and Zenyatta were banned only uh, for the June Joust. And um, as you can tell, also on your right, you can see the matches as well. Well, next week's matches, actually. So, let's now have a look at the uh, at the matches. And plenty, plenty of upsets happened here. Let's now look at it. First off, Toronto versus Paris. A 3-2-1 victory to Toronto. Not that surprising. 3-2-1. Florida to London. Not that surprising as well. 3-2-1. Hangzhou versus Guangzhou. Hangzhou's way, 3-1, not that surprising. Shanghai against Chengdu, a 3-0 to Shanghai, not that surprising. Well, even though Junker down, went the distance. New York versus Philly. This is possibly the first upset, I'll be honest. This really triggered this. New York against Philly. New York got, um, got, got the edge. I did watch a tiny bit of it. Well, I, I mainly watched uh, these two. I don't really watch this one a whole lot, but Rialto, it was, it was, it was, um, just, <laughs> they didn't even score a single map point until Rialto, which is really, really saying something, but Flora, Flora did so, so well, um, including, like, Fate and Shy, um, uh, I, I can imagine OGE, Nace, everyone doing well there. Paris versus Washington, this is, this is actually first time. A 3-0 went to five maps, and I think um, a lot of the Paris. I, was, I did not watch the NA teams because I'm basically upside down. <clears throat> I, I was I did not watch this, but I think I I I, I, sh I think all the Paris players should be super super happy with themselves by defeating one of the strongest teams, in my opinion, and a dark horse. Paris have been looking pretty well and have made some pretty major upsets. This is definitely only one of them. A very, very big upset for the Paris team. 3 to 1, Atlanta versus Houston. That went to Atlanta's way. Now, I'm not that surprised about it, to be honest. I think Houston was definitely hurt because of Sombra and they can't really use Dante that well. Um, I think, well, and I think like the, the meta is like, what is like Tracer? Echo, uh, Winston Diva, Mercy, Brigitte. Well, that's in the APAC, but it might be different here, obviously. Um, in in the west of in the west region, well, or, or the NA region. Um, but not really that surprised about it, to be honest. Even though people were saying, "Oh, that's a major upset," but I don't really think that's a major upset. Atlanta definitely have the better, I'm gonna say, better flexibility in DPS. I think I think. Jake actually did run the junk grind this one. I mean, it was the, yeah, I think it was this one or the Houston. I don't know. I think it was actually this one that where they ran, uh, junk grind, which definitely helped them. So, yeah, and Boston Uprising three year in Toronto. This came out of left field. I am shocked about this. I expected Boston to probably just a little bit, you know, a little bit tremble but fall down a bit, but they didn't. And the three yo Toronto who pestered Paris. I'm very, very shocked about that. So there goes Boston. And now we will go to the APAC region. A three yo to the Hangzhou Spark against the, against the Shanghai Dragons. This went all to the wire. And I did watch this. And I was shocked to see how good Hangzhou was. I, I, I only knew how, how good Hangzhou was against Guangzhou. Though Guangzhou is a bit of a struggling team. They came out. Guns blazing, they did, and that was that was great to see. Guangzhou against New York, that was a three-two-one victory uh, to Guangzhou, and Choi Sewan and Eileen, they popped the hell off on that map. Like I think they, like, I can like vividly remember. I think it was like Nepal. Eileen was getting picks off the picks. Hollywood, they were getting picks off the picks. Junkertown, they did put Guangbong and Ivy in, and that definitely helped them. Um, and then Hanamura. I'm not that surprised that they fucking steamrolled them. And Chengdu versus Philly, that went to Chengdu's way. Again, I am actually shocked about this. They did tie in Temple of Anubis, 
I expected Philly to go guns blazing even more, but it looks like that this Ross, this um, this comp doesn't really fit them well. Um, especially Mano just being super, super, super aggressive and the team not really helping them, which kind of makes sense. And now for the final three matches of this week, Atlanta 3-0 in London, not that surprised at all. 3-0, Boston against Washington. This, I can definitely tell that Washington has struggled a bit and definitely does not, this does not fit their, um, uh, fit their type. I think Mag is much more of a Reinhardt player than a Winston player, or even an Orisa player. Uh, so I think, uh, well, I, I, I don't actually know. It, I, he probably is a Winston player, but I... Oh god, this is not good for um, Mag. Um, <clears throat> as a little leader Zenyatta, mainly Bebe. I don't think he's... I, I, I think Zenyatta, I swear, is like his only good character, but it may be like, maybe the, like Moira as well. But Boston obviously coming out guns blazing. They they sweep the floor with oh, no, Washington. And Houston win against Florida. And this definitely came as a humongous shock. I thought Florida was... I, I, I knew Houston. Houston uh, was probably going to get like a map or even two maps off Florida. But I figured Florida was just going to just win it all. But it looks like that they didn't. And Houston... Houston did very, very well. Even though I did say back there, like in Houston and Atlanta, that they didn't really fit the meta. Looks like they have, looks like that time they did, they definitely figured it out. And Florida was just lost. I have no clue, but yeah, three to one, Houston's way. Also, we'll also have to look at the June Jow standings. Before, let's have a look at the week seven matches. London versus Dallas, uh, London versus Dallas, just, just, just to start it off. Obviously, Dallas is the main melee champion. And. Also picked up Pine. I will be talking about all the roster changes that happened, um, which I forgot to mention. So basically, like, basically when the scene started to now, Gladiators versus Vancouver, and then in East Shanghai versus Valiant, New York versus Seoul. In the West, Houston versus London, Shock versus Toronto, Atlanta versus Gladiators. Uh, for the APAC, New York versus Valiant, Seoul versus Shanghai. I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Sorry. And then finally for the um, for the NA or West, Toronto versus Houston, Vancouver versus Atlanta, and Dallas versus Shock. So those are all the week seven matches, and they will still have Tracer, Sombra, Reinhardt, and Yana banned. Let's now have, let's now have a look at the standings currently, and Boston up top in the West Division, base get three zero in all of their teams currently. Obviously three zero to Washington and a three zero Toronto, a shock. Um, Atlanta is second, obviously with um, with the one win again, going to Houston's way. Paris is third, then Houston, Florida, and Toronto. London and Washington are both down in 11th and 12th. Obviously, you've been Titans, Shock, Gladiators, and a few have not played yet. For the East, Hangzhou Spark is in the lead. Second AM is Guangzhou Charge. Uh, third place, uh, equal third place actually, New York versus Shanghai. Fifth place, Chengdu. And 8th place, Philadelphia Fusion. Valiant and Seoul have not played yet. <clears throat> uh, so now with the settings out of the way, let's now, have a, let's now actually have a look at the changes that, that has happened over <clears throat> season. So, roster moves. Obviously, yes, you'll have a look at some of these. Uh, Noru and Pajon both leave Hangzhou, where Mentalis was promoted. Damon and Arachne all, uh, both leave Guangzhou. Which basically means that Neko is the only coach. Neptuno leaves Paris. Pine, y Pine, yes, yes, that Pine joins Dallas. While Dridro joins uh, joins Paris. I think I said Dallas. I don't know. Pine joins Dallas. Dridro joins Paris. <clears throat> God, that's so similar. Dallas, Paris. Rhea retires from Overwatch, um, leaving the Justice. Dreamer is back in the Overwatch League with the Houston Outlaws, and Ursa and Reprise both retire from Overwatch. So that is all. So yes, I guess that is it. <clears throat> if we're talking about the, the current season from the West and the East, Florida is now in the lead. Dallas second, and Washington third. Florida, uh, Florida, Houston, and Toronto in f uh, fourth and fifth. Then Shock, Atlanta, uh, Gladiators, Boston, Eternal, Titan, Spitfire. East, we have the Shanghai Dragons in the lead. Tied for second is the Chengdu Hunters and the Philadelphia Fusion. 
4th Seoul Dynasty, 5th Hangzhou Spark, 6th Guangzhou Charge, 7th New York Social, and 8th LA Valiant. We now have a look at the overall standings. This is the current standings. Shanghai is dragging us in the lead with Houston Outlaws 2nd, Florida Mayhem 3rd, Dallas Fuel 4th, Equal 5th, Philadelphia Fusion and the Chengdu Hunters, 7th, Washington Justice, 8th, Toronto Defiant, Seoul Dynasty, San Francisco Shock, rounding right out the top 10. Then, uh, then in 11th, it is the Atlanta Reign, then Hangzhou Spark, Boston Uprising, LA Gladiators, Paris Eternal, Guangzhou Charge, New York Celsius, Vancouver Titans, LA Valiant, and the London Spitfire, rounding out the table. So that's it for me now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye.